In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this experimental typographic design using Adobe Illustrator. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is have your text ready. It can be a quote, it can be a song lyric, anything you want it to be really. Now that you have your text ready, go ahead and right click it and hit create outlines. This is going to turn your text into a shape layer, which means it's no longer editable. Now you're going to go ahead and grab your line tool and make a straight line across the top of your text and go ahead and extend it. Now using your selection tool, you're going to select both your line and your text and you're going to make a copy right underneath. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like in outline mode. As you can see, I have two copies of my text and I have two copies of my line. This line is going to serve as our cutoff point for everything underneath. I'll be changing the bottom color of my text to another color. I'm going to select my line and my top text and using the shape builder tool, I am going to delete everything underneath that line. As you can see, and then I'll go ahead and repeat that process again, making a copy of my text and my line, dragging it underneath, selecting my text and my line once again, getting my shape builder tool and subtracting everything underneath the line. To select multiple items, you can hold shift on your keyboard. At this point, I think I'm going to start coloring my text to the color black and going ahead and repeating this process of making a copy, selecting my line and my text and using the shape builder tool. I will be once again, deleting everything underneath. And that's pretty much what I do throughout this whole process. And I'm going to go ahead and jump forward a little bit here and show you uh, kind of the second part of the verse here. And I changed colors, but the process doesn't change. I have a line and I have a text that is converted into shapes and I delete everything underneath. And I'll go ahead and kind of fast forward here a little bit and show you the last part of the verse and the process doesn't change. I draw a line at the top of my text. I make some copies. I use a shape builder tool to delete everything underneath that line. And that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if this helps you or not. Let me know what other kinds of tutorials you would like to see on here. I try to focus a lot on typography, especially experimental typography and the theory of typography. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely uh, subscribe and, you know, kind of tune in every once in a while to see what I'm up to. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I post more of my daily sketchbook process and I'll be sure to follow you back. So I'll be repeating this step a few times. I kind of want to fill up all of the empty space down there at the bottom of the page. I want to make this uh, look as much as possible like the inspirational design you see to the right of my artboard there. I'm almost certain that I got it from Pinterest somewhere. I'll try and provide a link uh, as soon as I can uh, find the original post. But as soon as you're done with this, uh, make sure you hit command Y or outline mode so you can start deleting all of the copies of the lines that we made, uh, which you'll see here in just a few seconds. Make sure you color your text, uh, whatever color you want it to be. And then uh, for the last step, just go ahead and throw it into Photoshop, throw on some textures on there, throw on maybe a displacement map and you'll get a really neat looking poster. 
And here I'm about to delete the extra lines hitting Command Y. And you can see all the extra lines that we made. Make sure you delete them. Otherwise, you'll end up coloring them and it's going to become a mess. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough tutorial. If you end up picking something like this, I'd be happy to see it. Just leave me a link or follow me on Instagram. And until next time, have a good day.